Alright guys, so now I'm heading to get some food. I told you in the video that this was one of my most exciting unboxings I've ever done. And you know what? I lied to you guys. This was by far, by far my favorite unboxing I've ever done. This is the most excited I've ever been. I'm still thinking about those snakes and if you actually see them in person, in the sunlight, the way they move, the way that beautiful hue of blue comes out in them, these snakes are just incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I had a blast. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. This is gonna be an amazing video. One of my favorite unboxings I've ever done. I'm just gonna turn on the lights. Just got home from FedEx. I'm gonna grab my cold brew and we're gonna set the tone. I'll be right back. So it's hot outside. I decided to go with a nice cold brew from Stumptown. I got my box right here that we're gonna be unboxing. And this is gonna be a special unboxing, so we're gonna do it right. So I wanna make a toast to everybody watching the video, and I also wanna make a special toast to Steven Bull. He's a biologist one of the best garter snake breeders in the world. He's a researcher, he doesn't just breed garter snakes. And this is an honor to be able to add a snake from his collection into mine. So I just wanna say thank you to Steven, and I'm gonna make a toast to him and to all of you guys. So I'm excited guys, we're gonna open this up right now and then we're gonna go outside, it's nice outside, and take a closer look at these snakes. So I'm so excited to open this box. I don't know what to expect, but I'm super excited. So when you open the box, I see this nice soft, real soft, I don't know what you call it, It's I guess it's soft cotton or soft foam. Wow, this is amazing. These snakes look really nice. So this is what I see when I open the box. These two beautiful little snakes and I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. All right guys, we're outside. The weather's beautiful, coffee's kicking in, so I'm feeling really great. Now, if you guys don't know, just by looking, these are garter snakes, but these are a specific locale, Pudget Sound garter snakes, which are from Seattle, Washington, along the coastlines from Pudget Sound. Now, these are known for the blue colors in their skin tone. Most of the other locales have red in them, so this is a really special snake, and not many snakes have blue in them. And this is one of my favorite of the garter snakes though. So I just took this little girl out of her container, and she came right onto my hand. She is absolutely beautiful. Her belly is like a turquoise. She has a faint turquoise blue all along the side of her body and blushing in her cheeks. Now it's hard to pick it up on the camera. You really don't see it the way I'm looking at it in person. And as these get older, they get more and more deeper blue. Some get bluer than others. Some is like a greenish turquoise blue. Some is a deeper blue. As babies, usually these are just blackish with white lines. Two lines along the sides and one along the top. They have a ve very distinctive look. And those lines sometimes turn pretty blue as adults. Give you guys a little look at the belly. So something I noticed about this snake, it's really, really calm. 
and my other garter snakes, my Cali red sideds, they're a lot more wild. I gotta work with them. But a couple of breeders did tell me that these are naturally a lot calmer than the California red sided. I'm really excited to work with these because they're beautiful, they're calm, they're unique and they're blue. Oh man. So that was the female, now for the male. So I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I can't believe I actually have a pair of these Pudget Sound garter snakes. I really do love garter snakes and these unlike the regular colubrids that I have, you want a basking light instead of belly heat. So these guys will benefit from a nice basking area and not too much water, just a small water bowl. They like it more on the dry side. Now this guy's just hanging out on my hand, calm as can be. So this weekend I'll be setting up that small little bioactive setup for these guys and I'm getting eaten up by these mosquitoes. They're eating me alive, so we're gonna go back inside. So I've been speaking with Steven for about two to three years now through emails. I always admired his collection and his level of expertise. He put me on a waiting list for these last year. So when he finally contacted me this year, I definitely didn't want to miss the opportunity and now they're here so I'm so happy. I did try and get these locally within the states. Whenever I spoke to a breeder that worked with them, they either had no babies, they were not selling them in pairs, or they were already spoken for. Most of the time, people are always on a waiting list for these so I feel so happy that we finally have these in collection and thank you Steven. Now this is amazing. This little garter snake is actually looking at the fish in the fish tank. Now I don't know if he's admiring them as pets or if he's getting hungry. I think he wants to eat those fish. These eat fish in the wild as well as many other little amphibians. Now Stephen Ball was feeding these guys smelt fish chopped up worms chopped up pinky so i'm gonna give these guys a variety but he's not gonna eat these fish in my beautiful fish tank all right guys so i just took out one of my cali red-sided garter snakes these guys are coming along beautifully something i love about these guys is how red they are on the side it almost looks like flames that's a top view you get that nice white stripe on top the beautiful red flames along the sides and a slightly bluish turquoise belly now this guy's being pretty calm right now and he's just staying still he's alert if i try and move my hand too much he's probably gonna try and dart away from me but i'm gonna continue to work with these and let's see what happens if i approach with my other hand he's gonna go the other way Whoa, he <laughs> got me on the head. So now I'm gonna put this one back in its enclosure trim a couple of the plants as they grew really tall and i feel like garter snakes are underappreciated and underrated in the colubrid world 
They're one of the most amazing snakes to own and you definitely want to put them in a nice bioactive enclosure like this so you could see how they act in the wild. They're so interactive. And now I have another pair that I just acquired. I'm going to make another tank like this. I just can't wait. So that Cali red sided bioactive enclosure I made, it's doing great. I even had to trim some plants. The plants are doing amazing. All right, that coffee has really got me excited, pumped up. I'm feeling nice. I hope you guys are enjoying the video, hanging out with me. Now this weekend, I got an 18 by 18 by 18, I believe, Exoterra. I'm gonna be using that for this pair of garter snakes. It's a little big, but it, it is two snakes. I'm gonna look at the tank before I put anything in. Some of those Exoterras have little air vents I might have to silicone some of those off if they're too small. Nice little bioactive setup, a little soil, a little condiment, some live plants, beautiful lighting. So we're gonna do that this weekend. I hope you guys watch that video. It's gonna be an amazing video. These are amazing snakes, and I'm just glad I have amazing people watching my videos like you guys. So with that, I'm gonna go head out, go get a nice dinner, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Picasso, what are you doing? He's always bothering the rodents. When you open the box, I see this nice soft, real soft, I don't know what you call it. It's, I guess it's soft cotton or soft foam. It almost feels like when you're petting, I don't know, somebody's head. So there it is. It almost looks like a cloud floating for cloud colubrids. It was meant to be. I'm gonna let this cloud float away. I'm gonna.